Hello, this is Brian again. I'm off back I'm back on the San Diego River crossing trail. Right over there. I just came from that way and I booked a left. And this was this really long uh, demanding uphill stretch from earlier this morning. Coming up from down that way. So I figured I'd get film of it going down. I mean, it's not extremely steep, but it's definitely steep enough to give you a workout. So this was the first uphill of the day when I was coming up this this morning. It was pretty brisk, roughly about a roughly about a half mile walk. Camera, of course, is not going to do it justice. Like I said, it's not extreme, but it's steep enough to be an effort. So this is a good place to get your morning workout. When I was coming up here, it was still pretty... It was definitely before sunrise. I'm glad I'm going this in the downhill direction now. I know I'm going to have some more uphill on the way back. And I just came over... just came over another hill about five minutes ago down from Soycott Valley or Soycott Canyon. So it came up over that next rise. So this leaves me with one uphill stretch, which I think will be the gentlest, I believe, on the way back. Well, good. I get to see the feel of shade of the mountain. It's definitely warmed up a bit. It's not hot yet. Still, the sun's pretty warm. So hiking in the shadow of this road cut is good. So I, if you're going to do late August and September hikes here in the lowlands, get there early. Get it started early so you can get done early before it's too hot. It's definitely a Definitely a pretty hike. Of course, knowing me, I'm gonna step out of the shade here and look at this little sumac. My Lozma Lorena. Very beautiful specimen right here. Absolutely gorgeous structure. Beautiful grayish white bark. Look at that. Love these guys so much. These plants. Laurel sumacs are just such beautiful shrubs. Brian, you always see that about every shrub you see or every tree or whatever. Can't help the way I feel. Not that I want to help it. Not that I want to help how I feel about appreciating our trail side plants. Yeah. There are some nice specimens down in the in the gulch down this way. The soil there is a lot uh, deeper. So it allows these shrubs to grow quite large. I'm hoping there's going to be a spotlight opportunity today, too. That's what I'm hoping. See, that's the way I came down this morning. Over there. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to close out the visitor center loop, like I was mentioning in previous clips. Is a beautiful city.
city. Like any other city, it has its issues and whatever, but how many cities can you come out and climb mountains within them or big hills or whatever? Of course, Mission Trails is east end is Santee, so again, that area's got a lot going on too for hiking and nature venues. though, I will say, the city of Los Angeles has a much higher high point. See, sorry about the sun glare, but you can see that hill over there, that's Coles Mountain, 1,591 feet. That's the highest point of the city limit of San Diego. Still have yet to climb that one, since that's going to be probably a little bit longer hike, or at least the way I want to go. I don't want to I don't think I want to do my first climb of coals from Golf Crest and Navajo, which is basically the, the way to book it up and book it down. It's a, like a 2.8 to 3.0, that's about 2.8 to 3 mile hike round trip. But I wanted to climb that from Big Rock Park maybe, make it more like a 5 mile hike or so. L.A. County has a much higher height. That's not like it's a five hundred seventy one feet. That's not L.A. County. Well, it is, but that's L.A. City limit. That's high point. That's Mount Lukens. morning. Just before sun rises I was climbing up this. Now we're getting close to the canyon bottom. So I think I'm going to have another little bit of uphill. Even if I close out the loop, I think I'm still going to have a little uphill. Look how lush it is down there. I see sycamores, California sycamores, Fremont cottonwoods, different types of willows, black, red, arroyo, and black meaning Gooding's black willow, I should say. So we're going to be entering the, the green zone pretty soon. I see a big sycamore in there. Lots of cottonwoods and willows, of course. on the junction very soon. And this time, instead of heading that way, most likely going to be branching off to the left to get me towards the other side. Hopefully I'll find some more shade. 
it is starting to warm up. Although it's not hot yet, it's definitely creeping up. Again. Yeah. Beautiful broom backris over here. Waiting for them to go into full bloom. There's some of them already starting, usually towards the end of August or September, start getting some blooming. But I think it's the best time to do a spotlight video on them so you can see some of the other important features of them. But yeah, here we go. Fremont Cottonwood, Populus Fremonti, Fremonti, Gooding's Willow, or Gooding's Black Willow, Salix Goodingy, and this appears to be spiny rush right here. Be careful, the tips of these uh, leaves are very spiny. I believe this is uh, Juncus acutus, I believe is the botanical name, but these are the ones that have a very spiky end of the leaf. Well, it's not a plant you really want to mess with because it can jab you. And then we got California blackberry right here, Rubus ursinus. Yeah, there's more of that spiny rush right here. Get yeah, pretty neat, pretty nice sized. You can see the seed, cl seed capsules at the end there. It's actually a mono. It's a monocot. Not surprising. It looks like it'd be a monocot. It's, it's not in the same family as a grass. Believe it or not, it's not a grass. It's in its own family. Grass is in the Poaceae. Yuncaceae? I forget the family name of it off the top of my head, but I can always post a remark about that. And as I was pointing out early, during the earlier clips, we have a nice population here of Salix exigua. So this here, the sandbar willow. And I just brushed up against a broom backers. Earlier it was kind of dark down here, so I don't know how well the footage got. Nice to be in some shade. So one thing about the San Diego River area is you get a lot of beautiful cottonwood trees. Fremont Cottonwood really loves this area. got going on over here by the water's edge. See a lot of stuff wiggling around in there. So what is it specifically? Just be careful to step on anything. Can't tell. Probably a mosquito fish, I would imagine. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff wiggling around in there. But the water's so murky, I can't really see it too well. I imagine it's probably a mosquito fish. Probably. Oh well. There's some younger sycamore trees here. Platinus racemosa, beautiful California sycamore. Okay. So this is the way I came from. Right there is where I came. So that'll lead you back to the, they call it the Jackson staging area. 
Jackson Road meets Mission Gorge. Center. It's just under a mile. I'm not that parked that far from there, so. So I came down that way. So to close a loop, I'm gonna have to angle around this way. But I think what I'm gonna do is grab some water and just take a small break here in the shade, and I'll see you on another clip. <laughs> 